Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. In continuation with our pump series, we'll be looking at um, pump specific speed and function specific speed in this session. Um, the question is, what is pump specific speed used for? What is pump specific speed used for? You see, when selecting a pump for a particular application, with you knowing the shaft speed, the flow, and the differential head, a calculation of specific speed will help you to identify the impeller shape most suited to the task. And you recall that we have three types of impellers based on the major direction of flow with respect to the axis of rotation. We have the radial flow impeller, we have the mixed flow impeller, and we also have what? Axial flow impeller. With radial flow impeller being suitable for discharging relatively small quantity of flow against a high head, while mixed flow impeller is suitable for discharging large quantity of flow against medium head and axial flow impeller being suitable for discharging large quantity of flow against small head. So by the time the pump specific speed is calculated and you find specific speed being less than 70, 70 USC units, you say radial impellers are suitable for the applications. Same way, by the time you, you calculate the pump specific speed and it's between 70 to, to 160, you have mixed flow impeller being suitable for, for such application with axial flow impeller for a pump specific speed from 140 up. So, um, the question is now, what is the expression for calculating pump specific speed? You see, pump specific speed is actually a design index that, will, that determines the impeller type, whether you are to use the radial flow impeller for this particular application, or you are using mixed flow impeller, or you are using axial flow impeller, you know, depending on your process requirements. So, pump specific speed is expressed with this particular expression. The NS denotes the pump specific speed equals your N, right? Your N is the rotational speed, the pump rotational speed expressed in RPM. With your Q to be the total pump flow rate, the Q is the total pump flow rate expressed in cubic meter per seconds for single suction impeller. Now, for double suction pumps, your Q, which is the pump flow rates, you will use the half of the total capacity of the pump. You know, in this expression. Now, your H is the head per stage at the BEP. The BEP is the best efficiency point flow rate. We are still going to look at, at that in, in our next uh, pump series. Your H in this expression is going to be your head per stage at the BEP at maximum impeller diameter expressed in meter. So, the specific speed derived using this expression in SI units multiplied by a factor of 51.64 will give you specific speed in USC units. Okay? Now, the next thing is pump suction specific speed. Pump suction specific speed is not to be confused with the concept of pump specific speed. The pump specific speed is an indicator of the impeller geometry. 
and discharge characteristics. While well, the pump suction specific speed is an indicator of the impeller inlet geometry and suction characteristics. Now, your pump suction specific speed is expressed with this NSS, with this expression, equals your N being the rotational speed expressed in RPM and your Q to be the total flow rates the Q to be the flow rates per impeller I expressed in cubic meter per seconds. Your Q is going to be total flow rate for single function impeller. That is, if you have, a, if you have an application with a single function impeller, your Q is going to be the total flow rates for single function impeller and same Q will be one half the total flow rates for double suction impeller. So depending whether you have a, a single suction impeller, you have double suction impeller. For double suction impeller, your Q is going to be half the total flow rates. And you have your NPSHR, you know, to be your net positive suction head, head required. So this is how the pump specific speed, which is a design index that, that tells you the impeller type and geometric similarity of pumps is, is calculated. And same way, your pump function specific speed that tells you how aggressive, you know, your inlet condition is for, for a given application. So thank you very much. This is going to be the end of this session and and i would like you to subscribe to our youtube channel if you are yet to and then share this this these videos so that you can always get notification when other subsequent subsequent sessions are being uploaded to our youtube channel thank you very much